Hey y'all, so I was tagged by my friend Tara to do the 20 things to do before I die tag. It's basically like a bucket list kind of things and there are four different categories and it's kind of convenient because I have all this stuff written down which is surprising for me because I don't write anything down. I just totally forget about it. But I've written these things down but since I don't want to cheat I don't have that list anywhere near me. In fact, I don't remember where I put it. So I'll be doing these off the top of my head. All right, so the first category is five places to visit. Um, well, Nashville was on my bucket list, but I already went there. I definitely want to go to Italy. I want to go to LA. I want to go back to New York City because when I went there, I was really little. So I want to go to New York City. I'm going to put Nashville back on there just because I didn't really get to sightsee. And London. I feel like a lot of those are pretty stereotypical. But whatever. Whatever. That's what I want to do before I die. Don't judge. Next category is five things to own. This is tricky. Um, five things to own. A house, because I don't, I just don't like the idea of being in debt, so I want to own a house. I'd love to own a cabin in like Tennessee or North Carolina. And I want to own a golden retriever at some point in my life. Oh my gosh, and of course, oh my gosh, a horse. Duh. I don't know how many things I just listed. That was only four. Fifth thing to own. A TARDIS. I would own a TARDIS. We need to manufacture and like fund that crap. Cause there are people in other places that I want to see and not have to pay stupid amounts of money to do that. Even though they're totally worth it. Five risks to take. I feel like these are going to be very like stereotypical like oh everybody wants to take those risks. Um, but I definitely want to go skydiving at some point. Um, I want to go scuba diving. I don't know if that's really a risk, <laughs> but yeah. I already have tattoos, so that's not really much of a risk to me anymore. Been there, done that twice, and I still want to get more tattoos. Meh. I'd also love to go on like a totally unexpected, out of the blue road trip. Like, just totally rough it. Just like, hey, let's go, jump in the car, grab whatever, and just drive. I'd love to do that. And it's kind of scary to do that because you don't know if you'll run out of gas or money. But hey, it's a risk. I feel like for me a risk to take would be uh, focusing on myself for a day because I am a people pleaser, I'm a pushover, and I can't say no to people. So I don't know, for me, a personal risk to take would be just having a me day. The next and last category is five things to learn. I want to learn Italian. Um, a lot of people would be like, oh, I want to learn Spanish. But I already know Spanish. I'm fluent. So I'd like to learn Italian, be trilingual. I'd love to learn sign language. A lot of these just have to do with like languages. Oh learn to play the guitar. Um, I know four chords, but I could, I, I, I need to improve on that. I actually want to know to say hello, know how to say hello in 50 different languages. Meh, that's just me. The last thing I'd want to learn to do before I die is probably learn to say no. I mean, if it's like something like totally stupid, then I'll say no, but like, I'm in a place where I tend to wear myself thin because, you know, people are like, hey, Michelle, can you help out with this? Can you help with that? Can you do this for me? Can you do that? And I'm just everywhere and I really go, I'm not trying to brag on myself, but I really go out of my way to please people. And it's a good thing, but it can also be a problem because then, like, 
I just get really stressed out trying to be everywhere at once, trying to do everything for everybody, but I don't ever focus on myself, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But to learn to say no would be good. Now the fun part, when I get to tag people. Taggy tag 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 tag. So I am going to tag, of course, everyone watching this video, and you should totally tweet me the link if you do this video, because I love to see it. Also, okay, so I'm going to tag, since Tara tagged her, and she hasn't done it yet, you little rebellious child, you. I'm going to tag Megan, an invincible bookworm. I'm going to tag Danny Austin. And since he's been into the girly tags lately and all the other tags that are around, Landon Austin. Gonna tag you, Landon. I'm also gonna tag Nikki Philippi and Monica or Paint Writer Blue. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it made it think about things that you'd wanna do before you die. And maybe it'll inspire you to write down a bucket list because I just think it's really good to do that. Sometimes you have those moments when you, I don't know, you're like, oh, I'd love to do that, and then you just totally forget about it. But when you make a list, it's like there, and unless you throw the paper away, it's going to always be there. And I don't know, it's just helped me keep me accountable, and life is short, and we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So I want to encourage all you to do this tag and write it down a bucket list. And I also want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel because it's fun. And give this video a thumbs up. And I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.